Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. This week on this channel we are kind of celebrating the launch of our project Filament Examples and I'm showing you different tips and tricks from various projects from there. So today we're taking a look at Repair Salon CRM which is just basically a CRM for order taking from kind of receptionist and a customer and I want to show you two tricks from that. So if you have an order list, one thing I want to show you is custom action, for example, in addition to edit, cancel, or delete, or view, we have this, edit status or add notes. So for example, you need to change the order status to ready, and for example, all prepared for the customer, and you click submit. So now, no orders in progress, but you can find the order here in this tab. So that's one thing I wanted to show you, custom action, but also when you view that order, all those status history is also shown in the info list, which is a new feature of Filament 3. So let me show you both in the code. First table action with that custom action. So in the table method of filament resource, in the actions array, in addition to view and edit action, we have this. So this is what you can do with any action. This is the label, this is the icon, and then you attach the form, which automatically opens in a modal window. So you define just the schema for that form. So we select the status and also have text area, and then you add an action. So what should happen after that form is submitted? We change the status, we change the note, and we add the notification make with status updated. Similar thing actually just without the form is custom action with action to cancel the order. The only difference is the form. And that's it, you don't need to define anything else anywhere. That's again the beauty of filament. Often it's just a new method in the same filament resource. And now let's get to view order here at the bottom, how to view that as info list. So you define that info list at the bottom of order resource as just info list method. That automatically replaces the default view page of the filament resource. And then you define the schema with various sections, grids, and split in this case. You can check out the documentation for all of those four info lists. But what I wanted to show you specifically is in addition to the order number, status, customer details, and all of that. So visually those things, those are two sections. And then the third section is about history, which has view entry, which means that you can define your own blade view and do whatever you want inside of it. So we have resources, views, info list components, and then the long name of order status history list. And this is kind of a magic of dynamic component with get entry, which corresponds to the order itself. Or in fact, it is order statuses here, which is a relationship of has many statuses for each order. And then for each of that state, we can show the data however we want. There's some Alpine code here as well with tooltip, but that doesn't really matter. What I wanted to show you is two things custom actions with a button with the form and then info list with custom blade view with view entry. If you want that full example, including the login from customer side, go to filamentexamples.com and I will link that as well in the description below and get all those examples, currently 22 projects, but there may be many more in the future. We're gathering ideas at the moment. And actually, if you have any ideas, also shoot in the comments below and see you guys in other videos.